Oregon has the third largest class sizes in the country. This is hard for all kids. It's hard for the kids that find school easy because there isn't time to give them the extra work to challenge them. It's hard for the quiet kids that have extra questions that aren't able to get the attention that they need. And it's hard for the teachers who go to school every day because they want each and every one of their kids to learn. Last spring, I visited a middle school in Albany. The teacher had, I think she saw over 170 kids a day. On her side table was a stack of spiral binders, a couple feet high, kind of running across a, a, a bookcase. That was what she had to take home to grade for the weekend. It's unthinkable to me what we are asking our teachers to do when they are trying to support so many kids and do it well. And the thing that amazes me is how well our teachers continue to do that. As a parent of four kids in public schools, each of them has been fortunate to have caring teachers that have gone out of their way to help them succeed. But I also know that my kids and their teachers have talked about how these large class sizes make it very hard for them to meet their goals each day. In the legislature, I've found that almost everyone wants to vote for a bigger education budget. There are very few people that are opposed to education. However, I found there are far fewer people that are willing to take the tough votes that uh, prioritize resources so that we are able to make investments in Oregon's education programs. In this last session, we voted for the largest school budget in Oregon history. It was a billion dollars of additional new investments, and almost everybody voted for that. But it was a smaller number of us that actually stood up and were counted when it was time to uh, prioritize our revenue resources, to cut some tax breaks, to raise some revenues, to be able to put our kids first. And I was proud to do the heavy lifting to make sure that the resources were available so that we could all take that vote for this budget that's going to result in lower class sizes this fall.